Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your February uh, monthly reading. Generally, my readings turn out to be love readings, typically. We will see what comes up. Now, just take what resonates and leave the rest. This is not a private reading, so it's for a rather large audience. We're going to get two oracle cards to see, you know, what energies we have there. Oh, financial constraints. Okay, so you may have, be feeling like you're not, you don't have enough money. <laughs> you know, like you just don't have enough money to share or to give or to to do what you want to do. All right, there may be some financial constraints this month in February. Trapped in fear. This is the Eight of Swords. So it feels like you guys are emotionally trapped in some area. Maybe you would like to proceed in a certain way, but you don't feel like you can. You may be feeling like you will be rejected or, you know, this is mental prison. And, you know, it may have something to do with your finances. But, you know, this is kind of a, like an illusion, all right? So you are okay. When this card comes out, it signifies that, you know, you feel like you can't do something. But I think that you probably can. Let's let's get the rest of the, the cards. And I will zoom this camera in once I get done. This is for the sign of Aquarius for February. Okay, so you may be getting over some heartache. You know, you you may have been going through a period of grief of some sort. You may be have you may have been rejected, or you may feel like you're going to be rejected. And you may feel like your rejection comes from not being able to provide enough. Okay, but there is a feeling of grief, uh, could be rejection or regrets. Okay, you may have some regrets. Uh, you may be wanting a second chance from somebody, uh, or maybe somebody rejected a second chance. Maybe you offered somebody something and they rejected it. Um, or this could be that you're starting to open your eyes and see a situation more clearly, okay? And that's and that hurts sometimes. There is a, a feeling of being hurt. Perhaps you've been lied to or something. Maybe you thought something was love and it only turned out to be sexual. I mean, that could certainly be the case. And now you really have to start over again. It, that's what it feels like. And this will not be for everybody, okay? So keep that in mind. This is not a private reading. It's a general reading. So just really take whatever resonates. Anyhow, um... With this page of pentacles, it, it's telling me to tell you not to quit. Don't quit. Just because somebody hurt you or whatever the case is doesn't mean that you should quit doing what you're doing. You're on the right path. There's no reason to feel like you're a victim or feel like you can't find it elsewhere. Find whatever it is you're looking for, okay? Because I feel with this card that... You are dependable and you are responsible, but you're being called to broaden your horizons. Everything that happens in life, whether it brings problems or whatever, is leading you closer to what you need to learn, what you need to know in your life's purpose. So I just, I feel like there's been, that you have been freed from a situation um, that probably didn't really serve you, but... It's a blessing in disguise, and you may not see it like that yet. You may feel pretty hurt about it. Maybe you wanted a second chance for, with somebody, or you wanted another chance, whether it's a second chance, third chance, fourth chance, whatever. It feels like you may have wanted um, some kind of chance, and somebody may have rejected that. Um, 
But I feel like you really need to release something. You need to release something. Could be a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Could also be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, but it's time for you to accept the truth because it feels like you've been procrastinating. You have you've been called to let something go, release the past, and have this wake up call. You've been called to forgive, okay, because this is forgiveness and this is forgiveness. Okay, so you definitely need to forgive. You need to forgive yourself, you need to forgive the other person, and you need to stop procrastinating. Whoever was involved that you fear you are feeling uh, regrets about or her over it wasn't meant to be it just wasn't it was like a karmic thing it really was and there was really no give and take in the relationship and that's why you have to start over so this is I mean I really feel like it's coming whatever it is that you're waiting for what you're looking for it's coming but right now it's really time for you to focus on building yourself back up and stop feeling like you need to stay in this spot of despair, feeling rejected. There's really no need to stay here, okay? I feel like you may be isolating yourself because you feel like you're not worthy, but you are worthy. It feels like somebody has brought your self-esteem down because of the rejection, you know? Whatever has happened, somebody has, has brought in your self-esteem down. And this card, this Two of Swords, says it's really time to open your eyes okay it's really really time to stop pretending and to stop ignoring the truth okay we have an awakening here it's where you finally realize that this wasn't meant for you whatever it is you are dealing with probably a fire sign or somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart you know it just really feels like you were dealing with somebody that was very unreasonable and conceited in your life. You know, just because they were that way doesn't mean that you have to give up, okay? You have to give up finding love or give up in any direction, okay? I feel if you feel like you don't have enough money, rest assured it will come. It will. Right now, you're just going through a downtime, but it's not going to last. Money should start to be coming in, and you should start to be feeling more balanced out. I think you just went through a period of of feeling, I mean, being without money, for one thing, you know, like down in the dumps regarding financial issues, you know, like I don't, now you have to recover, put it that way. And you will recover, okay? So don't worry about it. This is telling me that you could be receiving some money unexpectedly with these two cards. So rest assured, whatever financial constraints you have been going through, I feel like it is definitely going to get better. But you're being called to master your emotions, all right? And I know that's a complete switch from money. But this card tells me that you really have to be in control of your thoughts because your thoughts really do become things. And if you think negative negatively, it affects your performance. And then you then if you're I mean in your job and if you think you're gonna get any extra money by being a negative in a negative state of mind, you're wrong. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Everything works together. So remember to think positive and do not um, lose your passion for whatever you do in work. I mean, this is supposed to be a love reading, but it feels like you guys are giving up in life, perhaps, because of some loss. And I think it's a loss in love. I feel like you guys are starting to think negative and you're going down the wrong road and it's affecting your your finances because you've lost passion, you've lost drive for, you've lost energy. You know what I mean? It's like, so if you're looking for things to improve financially, whatever heartache you've just went through, you need to realize that everything happens for a reason. Um, yeah, right now your guard is up and you're like in fight mode. Like that song, this is my fight song. It's like, I am in fight mode because of some kind of heartache. And when you are in fight mode, it's absolutely going to for, uh affect your career and your finances because everybody can feel it everybody can see it and it's just the way it is you know shit rolls downhill when one thing doesn't work out you know usually everything else starts falling apart too I mean that's the way it is so if you are being called to 
open your eyes, accept the truth of whatever has happened and move on from it. Don't quit. Keep going. Remain positive. Whatever has happened, don't let it bring you down. Anyway, we're going to zoom this in and we're, I'm going to keep going. just going to move these over a little bit so that you can see what they say. Um, so yeah, I mean, you guys are going through a period of, of isolation because of your feeling very hurt over a situation and you're being called to just release it. This is release the past, release the past. It's definitely karma. These are both karma cards. It's time for you to wake up and realize that was just a karmic lesson. Check that off your list and start broadening your horizons, okay? Seriously. It's coming. What you've been seeking is coming. The, this page of pentacles is also about inner strength, okay? Whatever has happened is making or has made you stronger, okay? Um, I'm going to get some clarifiers here. You really have to... Continue to stand up for yourself, okay? Remember that. Because you stand up for yourself, doesn't mean that you're being that you're being too assertive. It means that you love yourself, you care about yourself, you need to do what's right for you, okay? So continue doing that. I feel like Right now, you're feeling at a loss. You've, you're feeling like you're not being very successful. I mean, you're letting yourself... You're letting yourself be unhappy. You're letting whoever this person is that caused hurt bring you down still. Whether they're in your life now or not, you're still letting them control you, per se, by letting them keep you down. All right, and I've seen, I think there, that many of you, because this has happened, you probably feel fear, feel, you probably feel like you're never going to be happy. This is never going to get better. Kind of like totally down in the dumps. I mean, that's what I see. Like, wow. Anyway, we're going to get the rest. <laughs> this is totally down in the dumps. You, you're, there's a lot of depression here, a lot of anguish, a lot of despair. I feel like you've been losing sleep over money, for one thing. I don't have enough money. I'm never going to make it. And feeling like... I think there's been a lack of communication probably from you and another person. And there could have also been a third-party situation. I feel like somebody really really let you down somebody let you down so badly that you are having a hard time even going out of the house even doing anything it's like wow i i don't have any care whatsoever for anything at this point but we want some positivity here you know <laughs> it's really stop time for a change okay it's really time for you to let go of something to stop to stop resisting, okay? Things have been a little chaotic. Things have been out of balance, and it's time for you to trust. It's time for you to have faith in the future, but I think you've lost faith. You've lost faith, and I need to tell you that you really need to regain it, okay? Regain the faith. You've been in some kind of feud with somebody, okay? There's been some kind of feud, whether it's a family feud or it's in a relationship. Somebody has brought you down. They've really tried to control you and manipulate you. I think you're dealing with a, some ruthless individual who is very greedy and unreasonable and conceited. And they didn't realize what they were doing, what the impact was going to be on you. And now you are going through probably like a severe depression. You know, so I'm sorry that we need to change this around. Please, dear God, angels and universe, we need to change this around. We need some. We need something. I mean, you guys are feeling like you are absolutely trapped. And you are. You're trapped in your mind. You're trapped in the past. That judgment card co comes out to say, please release it. 
Think of this as an awakening. Think of this as an, a wake-up call. It's time to forgive this whole situation and move on. I feel like whatever has happened, I think a secret was revealed that has probably broken your heart. And now you feel like you can't move forward. It's like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm not moving forward. I'm going backwards. And this may be financially. It could be in love and financially. But it feels like you feel like you're going backwards. And with that mindset, you are. Okay? If you feel like you're going backwards, then you are. And if you're looking for some, me to say something else, I can't. Because the cards don't say something else. It feels like... You are turning away. You're turning away from prosperity and abundance and security by feeling like you have nothing more to give. There's nothing more to offer. Nobody's going to give to you. There's no security for me. You know, the negativity in your mind is becoming, okay? Remember that. So you really, really need to turn this wheel around. You need to change your course. You need to change your thoughts. Remember, uh, everything happens for, the re for a reason. The Wheel of Fortune is a purpose, okay? There's a purpose for everything. When you see the Wheel of Fortune in a reading, it means whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose this is reversed you haven't realized that you're still um living in the past you're not letting it go you're letting who whatever this is control you please we need some positive please 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 son of a bitch you're not realizing what what the future holds for you. The future is so bright, but this is reversed. Okay? If you realize that the future has so many other options, then things will change. But you're not realizing it because this is foresight. This is realizing goals. It is reversed. This is telling me that you are not realizing what the future holds. If you want things to change, you have to think positively. I feel some of you were involved in a third party situation and it has totally just about killed you emotionally. It really has uh, opened your eyes, okay? And, and, or closed your eyes in this reading. You know, it's like, oh my God, the, the heartbreak is unbearable. Now, I have to remind you, this is not going to be for every single person that watches it. This could be just for a select few, okay? And remember, the timing. I'm recording this in January, but it is for February, okay? So before you go and click the thumbs down, which I don't care if you do, I'm just trying to get you guys to realize that this hasn't happened yet. For some, it has. For some, it hasn't. This is a preview. There's that damn Eight of Swords again. So this is this is good that it's reversed. This is where, here we have it upright. Here we have it reversed. This is telling me that you may start to realize towards the middle of the month. You may start out the beginning of the month down in the dumps like, wow, this has totally consumed me and I'm not sure I can even get out of bed today. And then I think hopefully, let's see, get the rest. Oh, thank you, God, that... that you know, as the month progresses, you decide to master your emotions. You decide to change things. You decide to, to pick things up again. And you decide to bring your confidence back and your grace and your willpower. So you do go through this, like, dark night of the soul moment where you hit rock bottom. That's what it looks like. It's like you hit rock bottom and then you finally come to that pivotal point where you have to realize, okay, all right. It's time for me to change my direction and free myself from this mental prison and pick myself back up again. Maybe you decide that you're going to open up because there's no sense in investing in the past. And that's what you do. It's With the Seven of Pentacles reversed, it's like, all right, I've been dissatisfied. I've been unrealistic. 
this is unrealistic and this is unrealistic. I've been unrealistic in this whole situation. It is time to broaden my horizons. And it's probably time for you to expand. It's all in your hands. You are being offered the opportunity for growth. All you have to do is accept it. If you would like, if you're looking for passion, if you're looking for excitement, and if you're looking to expand, all you have to do is master your emotions and have the willpower to do it. But geez, I'm crow. You know, you have to give to yourself. Are you ready to do that? Are you ready to give the energy to yourself? Are you ready to work on yourself? Are you ready to manifest abundance, a new beginning, security? Are you ready? It's all up to you. You're being offered these opportunities, but it appears that you may not take them. These are both opportunities handed to you from above, but it looks like you may not take the opportunities. You have the opportunity to begin anew, to have a new beginning. It's up to you whether you choose it or not. Wow. You're so unhappy. Come on, I need some positive. And that's, see, this is for you. You need some positive. You need to change this around. You need to make yourself happy. If you are looking for your happiness in someone else, then you're in trouble. Okay? Only you can make yourself happy. And as soon as you realize that, that's when, that's when this wheel will, will spin in your favor. That's when the security, the stability, the money, the everything will come to you. Right now, there's, there's lack of finances because of your energy. Okay? You're feeling negative. And when you're negative, you cannot expect abundance to come into your life. It doesn't work like that. And so that's what I see. It's like there's, there is financial constraints because of what has happened to you. It's controlling your life. It's controlling your mindset. It's controlling everything. When your heart is broken... The rest doesn't really thrive. And I'm sorry to tell you that. It's time for you to thrive. And to flip all these reversals around. If you don't love yourself. If you can't be happy with yourself. Then you're going to continue to have financial constraints. There's a lot of unhappiness here because you're not investing in yourself. And with this strength card, this is what needs to happen. This is what this is what needs to happen. You need to have courage. You need to have willpower. You need to have love for yourself. You need to have discipline. You need to use the force within you to master your emotions. And move on. This is about bringing your beauty back. I feel like there's somebody's pride has been hurt. This, because this is the pride lion, okay? So the thing is, is you have to be proud. Hold your head up high and move on. You're stuck, damn it. The Six of Swords. Uh, this is refusing to consider a new approach. Come on now. Why? Why are you refusing to move on? Does it serve you? Do you want to live like this? Son of a gun. You know, on one hand, you do. On one hand, you can't let go. You can't let go. On the other hand, you're ready. And that's what this says. On one hand, I can't let go. I can't. But on the other hand, I'm ready. I'm ready. I can't do this anymore. Okay? That's what I see. It's like, oh, there's so much confusion here. I can't let go of this past. For some reason, there's some karmic tie. Yes, there is a karmic tie. 
There's a karmic tie, and you, this is the lesson you need to learn. You need to learn to forgive, and you le need to learn to pick your pick yourself up and move on. You do. That's what the lesson is. And I feel like you're so, 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 so close. You're so close to a new beginning. You have the opportunity to start new. You do. But whether you choose to do it, you know, it's a 50-50 chance at this point. Yeah, you do. You need to you need to balance your life out again. It's time to go through the healing process. You and this is another purpose card. Now we have two purpose cards right together. Everything happens for a reason. You've got to remember that. If you if you're trying to pretend that this will all go away, if you're trying to mask the pain with drugs or alcohol, that's just a mask. And that's definitely taking your money. If that's this will not be for everybody. It's going to be for somebody, this portion of it. Somebody is trying to bury their pain in overindulgences. When what they really should be doing is working on healing. Because now these are two healing cards as well. Healing is needed. You need to let yourself heal. You need to be able to love yourself and be proud of who you are and stop pretending stop pretending there's a lot of pretending here it's time to free yourself from this situation whatever it is you need to it's time to clear away the obstacles Is the financial going to get better? Damn it, that card fell out. It feels like you've been robbed. <laughs> you've been, you feel like you've been robbed. I've been robbed. You know? Robbed of your pride. It's time to look at things from a new perspective. It's time to really, really, really realize what has happened. Stop pretending. And it's really time for you to cut whoever this was that caused all this despair out of your life. You use this sword to cut out whoever robbed you of your pride. And this is you, Aquarius. It's time to be objective and look at life from a totally different perspective and offer love. Offer love elsewhere. You could have an opportunity for love should you choose to accept it, okay? It appears that you do. It appears that you are being offered an opportunity for new love or a new, a new partnership or something, somebody new coming into your life if you choose to accept it and, and let it come in, but I'm not sure that you will. There is a new, there is. There's a chance for new love. Thank you, Lord, for changing this around. Apparently, you guys needed to hear that first message, apparently. There is a chance to go down a new road. You have, say you've reached, you've reached a road, okay? You're at the end of the road and you can go left or right. But you can't go straight because there's a, there's a boulder, okay? You can go left or right. But each way leads to a different destination. Now it's time to make a decision. Do you stay here? Or do you go over here? Alright. So what's it going to be? You will have the opportunity to go down a new path and start something new.
you are going to be called to just follow your intuition. And let go of the past. Let go of the past. It's over. It's over. Whatever betrayal you went through is in the past. Go down the new road. Because the past is dead. It's time to open your eyes. Forgive the other person. Forgive yourself and move on. You have the opportunity for newness in your life should you choose to offer your love to someone else. If you're in a relationship, this there could have been some kind of family feud. There could have been some kind of argument and you're being called to let it go. Let it go. If you are in a coupled relationship, you're being called to let it go. And move on from it. It's over with. And start anew. If you are single, just gotten out of a relationship and you're really hurt over it, feeling like you can't move on. I'm telling you right now that it's affecting your whole life. And it's the same with couples. Whatever has happened is affecting your finances in a very big way because you can't excel in the state of mind. Okay, you cannot excel. This card just fell out. So what I have to say for both situations is you have to let it go and move on. There's a chance for love here. Relationship. This is totally about a relationship. 100%. Let's get the other one. Interesting. <laughs> We're going to read this one first. I don't even know if I zoomed that in. Damn it. Well, it's pretty good, huh? Whatever. Okay. Focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve. And to swim in a constant stream of bliss. That's what your soul desires, right? This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. <laughs> giving and receiving. Do you hear, did you hear that? You deserve to receive. You probably only heard the giving. Because that's what you do. You give. And you give more. And even a little bit more. And what do you get back in return? You deserve. Love. Relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself. <laughs> we talked about this already, didn't we? Relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. I believe I told you that, didn't I? If you're expecting your finances to get better, you need to heal and follow your intuition and look at the new road. We're gonna read that one over. Relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. I talked about this during the beginning of the reading. If you want everything to improve, 
You have to follow the divine path and plan. Stop feeling guilty. Stop feeling like you need to be trapped in this place you don't want to be trapped in. And look at things from a new perspective. Wherever you are at, it's over. It's over. There's the opportunity for a new beginning here. With somebody that probably has the best of intentions with that King of Cups. But you have to let it in. Stand up for yourself because you matter. Only you can make yourself happy. And when you realize that, everything else will fall into place. So that's what I have, Aquarius, for February. Please keep in mind that this is January. If this doesn't resonate, give it time. Talk to you later.